For your MLA format argumentative paper, I'm going to explain how to write your introduction, which is of utmost importance. You have to write your hook first. You need to catch the reader's attention. So the first sentence or first two sentences are going to be either a quote, a shocking statistic, startling fact, a simile, a metaphor, an analogy, or lyrics to a song. If you do plan on getting lyrics or a quote, you need to ensure that you give me the site where you got it from because you do have to cite that source. And you can use easybib.com to do that. Your background information, you have to discuss the history of how it began. For instance, I'm going to use a student's topic about aborted fetuses and stem cell research. And in this one, obviously the student has to tell me where stem cell research came about or what exactly is stem cell research. So you do have to explain. And that's in about two to three sentences. As far as your thesis is concerned, I need to see it in this format. If you are for your topic, for instance, you need to write proponent. You do not write I. You do not write we. You are considered a proponent. So you write down proponents argue or believe. Let's say that you choose argue. So you say proponents argue aborted fetuses should be. You need to use these active voice words. So for instance, should or must be. But in a sense, must is less of a weak word, so you want to start off with should. It should be used for stem cell research because, and you have to give me a reason, stem cells can cure diseases. In turn, stem cells can save lives. This is an example of a cause and effect thesis, so I would recommend that you use this if your paper does focus on cause and effect. And after you're done, you write a semicolon, however, comma, Opponents, now you give me the other side, is what, are, what does the other side argue? Opponents argue stem cell research is immoral, so you have that reason as well. If you are the opponent, you have to start the opposite way. So I suggest that, very simple, you start off with opponents, you cut, you paste, capitalize opponents, and here you cut and paste, however, remove that period, and you write it this way. So if you are a proponent or an opponent, that's what you start off first. So here now what you do is you need to write down opponents argue stem cell research should not be legalized because it is immoral. And now you have the proponents on the other side. Eventually, you will put all this together. You will put your hook together, your background information, and your thesis. All right, so now this is a final product. In MLA format, you are going to follow. Um, you should have already included your last name at the top with a space, and the page number automatically is there. Your name, in this case, it's Fuji Lopez, and your teacher, which is Linda Lee Ramon, English 3.3 and your date, your title. Here, what, like I was saying is here, for instance, that is your hook. This is your background information. And finally, you have your thesis statement. And that's how your introduction needs to look.